Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Today we are doing a lesson on how to agree with people. And in particular, I am going to teach you how to say that something is the same for you or for somebody else. Okay, so let's get started. So, here is a friend of mine called David and David and I are having a conversation. David says, I am going to the cinema. And I say, so am I. Now this means that I am saying to David that I am going to the cinema too. All right. I am also going to the cinema. I can also say, so is Jane. And that means I am telling David that Jane is also going to the cinema. I am agreeing with him. I can play the piano. So can I. So can my brother. I have been to London three times. So have I. So have my parents. I am hungry. So am I. And so is Mark. Okay. So this on the right, this is the grammar structure that I want you to learn. And to form this structure, we must look at the structure of the first sentence. So we must look at what David is saying. And if you notice, everything that David is saying, everything is in the affirmative. So since it is in the affirmative and we are agreeing with him, then we must start our sentence with the word so. Okay? So means that we are agreeing with someone in the affirmative. And we can also notice that in David's sentence there is an auxiliary verb. This is the auxiliary verb. It is the verb to be. And it goes, it is in front of the main verb. So, since David uses an auxiliary verb, we must use the same auxiliary verb when we reply. So, we must also use the verb to be and we put it after the word so and the verb to be it must agree with the subject that we are using and so here the subject is I and so we put the verb to be in the first person singular which is am so that is how we have so am I and for Jane it is so is Jane. Okay, it's the same auxiliary verb. It's the verb to be. But this time our subject is Jane. Now Jane is the third person singular. So we put the verb to be in the third person singular, which is is. And it's the same for the others. 
here is the auxiliary verb can and so we use can in our reply and again we make it agree with the subject can I have so have I so have my parents I am hungry so am I so is Mark okay so the rule is when we are agreeing with an affirmative which has an auxiliary verb then the form is so then the auxiliary verb and then the subject okay so that is the first rule now let us look at the second rule similar situation here is Caroline I am talking to Caroline Caroline says I like watching television I say so do I so does Mark I want to go to London so do I so does my brother I eat bread with every meal so do I so do my parents I walk to university today so did I so did Mark okay again this is the grammar structure I want you to learn again Caroline is talking in the affirmative and so we always use the word so but this time Caroline does not use any auxiliary verbs she only uses main verbs all right so since there are no auxiliary verbs in our reply then we use the verb to do and again we um, the verb to do we make it agree with the subject all right so here the subject is I and so we put do in the first person singular here it is Mark is the subject and so the third person singular of do is does that is why we say so does Mark we do not say so do Mark so do does so do I so does my brother so do I so do my parents so did I now this one is a little bit different this time we use the uh, past participle because Caroline used the past tense she said I walked so we have to put the verb do in the past tense so that is why we say so did I past participle and it's the same when we talk about Mark so did Mark all right so the rule here is when we are, are agreeing with an affirmative without auxiliary verbs then we say so then the verb to do and then the subject okay here is Peter I am talking to Peter Peter says 
I am not going out tonight. Neither am I. And neither is Jane. I can't hear the music. Neither can I. And neither can Mark. I have never been to London. Neither have I. Neither have my parents. I am not hungry. Neither am I. And neither is Sarah. All right. So here, this is the negative. So Peter is using the negative in all of his sentences. And we are agreeing with him. So when we want to agree with somebody who is using the negative, then we start the sentence with the word neither. All right? That is pronounced neither. And then it, and then it is exactly the same as the first rule. So Peter is using auxiliary verbs. And so we must also use auxiliary verbs in the correct form, in the correct conjugation. Okay. We must make the auxiliary verb agree with the subject. Neither am I. Neither is Jane. Can. Neither can Mark. Have. Neither have I. Neither have my parents. And neither am I. And neither is Sarah. So we are agreeing again with Peter. Peter is using the negative and we agree with him. We are saying, I am not hungry as well. Okay. And Sarah is not hungry. So we say, neither is Sarah. So the rule here is, when we are agreeing with a negative which has auxiliary verbs, then we say neither, then the auxiliary verb, then the subject. Okay? Now the last rule, this is the last and number four. Here is Claire. Claire and I are talking. I don't like tennis. Neither do I. Neither does Mark. I don't want to go home. Neither do I. Neither does my sister. I never drink alcohol. Neither do I. And neither do my parents. I didn't walk to work today. Neither did I. And neither did Mark. So again, Claire is using the negative in all of her sentences. And when we agree with a negative, we start with the word neither. And then her sentences do not use any auxiliary verbs. And so with our reply, we use the verb to do. And we put the verb to do in the correct form to agree with the subject. So do, 
does do does so again a reminder does is the third person singular of the verb to do 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 and the last two we say did and again it is because the original sorry the original sentence was in the past tense okay Claire said I didn't walk to work this is the past tense and so we use the past participle in our reply so here the rule is when we are agreeing with a negative without auxiliary verbs then we say neither then the verb to do and then the subject okay now um, for an exercise question one I would like you to choose two famous people who have things in common who have something in common two famous people who are similar now my example would be two famous footballers two famous football players English football players called David Beckham and Alan Shearer and then I would like you to write a sentence in the affirmative which shows that they are similar so for my example this is my answer David Beckham scored many goals and so did Alan Shearer so this is in the affirmative and this is saying that Alan Shearer did the same as David Beckham and question three I would like you to write a sentence in the negative to show that they are similar so this time I would like you to use the negative my example my answer is David Beckham no longer plays football and neither does Alan Shearer so here because it is the negative we are using the word neither to compare Alan Shearer with David Beckham but those are my answers I would like to know what your answers are I want you to do the exercise and I would like you to write your answers in the comments of the video okay so below the video there is the comments section and I would like you to do answer these three questions and you write your answers in the comments and I will reply to you in the comments to tell you whether your answer is right or wrong okay so as I said it's below the video it's underneath and so you can do it now if you like if you would like you can pause the video now and you can write your answers in the comments and I promise I will reply to all of you to tell you if you're right or wrong okay so if you want to do it now you can pause and if not you can perhaps do it later but that is now the end of the lesson so thank you very much for watching um, this is my Twitter account if you would like to follow me on Twitter and here are two other videos which might be of interest to you this one is a listening exercise and this one is another grammar lesson all right thank you very much for watching my name is Andrew at Crown Academy of English thank you for watching bye bye